Hey everybody, welcome back to the ABCs of Mental Performance. Q is for questions, and this week I have a question to share with you that's helped me a lot with hopes that it can help you as well. If you're like me, then maybe you have a tendency to dwell on things or to let them bother you a lot from time to time. For me, examples could range anywhere from a negative comment by somebody all the way to everything going on in the world with COVID right now. For you, maybe it's likewise negative comments or it's decisions made by a teacher or coach or a bad performance. A strategy I learned a couple of months ago that's really helped me out is to simply ask myself the question, is the time and energy of my reaction on par with what's happening? Three things factor into my answer to the question, the source, the seriousness, and my level of control. If the source isn't someone whose opinion I should value, then I don't need to spend a lot of time worrying about it. If it's not that serious, again, it's not worth it. And finally, if there's not really anything I can do about it, it's not worth my time. Something I've found when I ask myself this question is that pretty often the answer is no. But by just asking the question, we can allow ourselves the separation between whatever is happening and ourselves. That helps us to be a little bit more rational and to move on. My challenge for you is to try it out sometime this week. If you find yourself dwelling on something for an extended period of time, ask yourself, is the time and energy of your reaction on par with what's happening? If the answer is no, allow yourself to move on. If the answer is yes, though, a follow-up question is what can I do to respond to what's happening may help you to move beyond dwelling to action and dealing with whatever it is that's going on. Giving ourselves a little bit of space by asking effective questions can help us better take control of ourselves and our time. And by doing that, we give ourselves the best chance to perform and enjoy being us. Thanks for joining me for the ABCs of Mental Performance. See y'all next week.